Great, so let's go ahead and do something else. Let's go ahead and publish this game. All right, so I'm gonna to go to build settings. Um, I'm going to keep this right here as a desktop standalone. Let's see, um, player settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this override for standalone icon and I'm going to select an icon and we'll use this uh, pink crystal, I guess. Okay, that'll work just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and hit build. And let's let's go ahead and put this in a folder called builds. Okay. And we'll just call this uh, demo game one. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'll save this. And let's go ahead and shut down Unity. I'm just going to quit it. OK, now we can just go into the builds folder I just made. And you can see I have this icon right here. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this down to my dock. All right, and just drop it in. Whoops. There we go. OK. And so now I just have this app down on my dock, and I can just click and open that. OK, and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just click play here. Okay, and we're back at the beginning again. I'm going to just go ahead and die. Okay, well, there you have it. There's some of the basic features of working with Unity 2D. So um, just a little bit we've gone over so far. Spawning uh, deadly uh, objects, collectible objects, um, 2D components like the hinge joint here, uh, the movement script, and then, of course, accessing a second level, and of course, you know, getting destroyed and dying. Um, so there's actually a lot you can do right now. So go ahead and, and take some time to explore some of these new features in Unity 2D and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.